you have been looking at short-term androgen deprivation therapy, and this is in intermediate risk prostate cancer. Uh, in patients treated with radiotherapy, can you tell me what it was you were trying to do? Phase three study, and you have a result, don't you? Yes, what we have tried to do is to see for intermediate risk prostate cancer, receive radiotherapy, prostate radiotherapy as local treatment, what is the place of short-term androgen deprivation therapy? We are talking of six months of androgen deprivation therapy. And we were also, we wanted also to see if, the, if there were difference. So we, ha we, ha we came with a three-arm study. The first arm is short-term androgen deprivation therapy for six months and prostate radiotherapy with a low dose of 70 gray. The second arm is short-term androgen deprivation therapy and a higher dose of prostate radiotherapy at 76 gray. And the third arm is radiation therapy alone at 76 gray. So there are, if you compare the arms two by two, you can raise three questions. If you give, if you compare arm um, one and two, if you give short-term androgen deprivation therapy, can you lower the dose of prostate radiotherapy? If you compare arm um, two and three, if you give a higher dose of prostate radiotherapy at 76 gray, do you need to add short-term radio, uh, androgen deprivation therapy? Right, well, you've got 600 patients or thereabouts. Yes, 200 per hour. What did you find? So what we did found is that if you add short-term androgen deprivation therapy to radiotherapy, even 70 or 76 gray, you have better outcomes. You have less biochemical failure and you have a better disease-free survival. And we report this study with a median follow-up of 6.3 years. So we have better outcomes. Uh, and so we answer the three endpoints. We have had four endpoints. We have better biochemical failure, better disease-free survival. The third endpoint was overall survival. But these didn't change the overall survival of any group. Why? Because at this age and this type of tumor, we have very few deaths with prostate cancer, very few and people die of competing causes of, of, of uh, other causes. So what are your conclusions then in terms of what you should do? Should you be using the androgen deprivation therapy uh, uh, and should you in fact be using a low dose or high dose of radiotherapy? Uh, you know, we are going, uh, the, the fourth endpoint is toxicity related to hormones and radiation therapy. This, this is uh, going to be looked at uh, in the future weeks. One thing one must understand is that it is sure that if you increase the treatments by adding hormones, by increasing the dose of radiation therapy, you have better outcome for the disease. But it is also sure that you have more side effects. So what I say is that depending on your patients, depending, you have to talk with your patients, depending on the age of your patients, depending of comorbidities, depending of, of many things, and you have to give the data to the patients. And then you have to make a decision with the patients. I give you just one an example. For example, six months of androgen deprivation therapy has a major impact on sexual function, major. So if you face a patient who doesn't want to take this risk, you have to discuss with the patient. Maybe this patient will be going for radiation alone, knowing that the outcomes are a little bit less. So first option is to put your patients in clinical trials. This is the first message, but if you don't, uh, if you don't have clinical trials, you have to take the data, look at the outcomes, look at the side effects, and discuss that with your patients. Better disease-free survival, same overall survival, but more treatments, more side effects. Right, so it is a question of joint 
decision making with yeah. your patient. That's if, it. In a few words, how would you sum up the take home message for busy cancer doctors today? Discuss with your patients. Take, take the time necessary because the outcomes are major. And depending on what you are looking after uh, with your patients, are you le looking after better biochemical control? Are you looking after better disease-free survival? Then go for the treatments with higher dose of radiation therapy, with uh, hormone deprivation therapy, knowing that you increase the side effects. So it depends on, on the discussion you have with the patients. I think this study is the, the, the take home message is that there is not one rule. This study can help the physician to make a decision with his patients after talking with the patients and after looking at the side effects.